What is up, you beautiful, beautiful gamers, and do we welcome back to role-playing games? Now, this news has been bombarding the internet for quite a while, and uh, I just wanted to give my my shares, my thoughts. I mean, there's plenty of sources and statements and all the people conversing about this. Of course, what will happen? to the uh, game exclusives with Cinemax Media games which are as follows like for example um, The Elder Scrolls, Coming Up Starfield, Wolfenstein, The Evil Within. Will these games be exclusive to Microsoft consoles or will they not? And you see I personally believe, I truly, truly believe that the case is that they are going to be exclusives and let me tell you why. I'm gonna try to be as honest as possible with you and give you my reasons as to why these games will be exclusive to Microsoft even though we don't have official confirmation on any of that yet, but in the end Let's take a look at how the market works, because in the end, this is all business. I personally, me, Mario James, I, I'm one of those little souls that are against exclusivity, exclusivity, exclusivity. Why? Why am I against it? Well, simply, because the more Mario people get to play video games, the better. I mean, I think that you shouldn't be compelled to actually be attached to a console where you are going to make this decision of actually being able to play some games while you're not able to play some other games. But, the thing is, that this is a, a, a business. Now, if you follow Phil Spencer, and you know what kind of statesman he has said, he has always been like this friendly dude that is quite of kind of against this how the video game media world works right now as far as of the uh, exclusivity management and um, the thing is that if we take a look at how the market is doing right now there are console wars that's some that's inevitably something that we have to take in consideration we we have to accept it it's just how it is, that's what it is. Now, unfortunately, Microsoft has been like not leading the market, the place, not being upfront in the competition as far as, as of uh, game exclusive titles as goes to. Microsoft has some huge fan, fan base that actually had been keeping them being solid in this like console wars sales throughout the years there there have been like quite they they have been in quite an even even margin margin but needless to say we do know that uh, at me personally i truly believe that as far as exclusive titles goes microsoft is quite lacking comparing to other consoles like let's say for example every time you hear a console being named exclusive titles come to your mind and when you hear the name Xbox the titles like Yes of Wars come to mind Halo, Fable, Crackdown, Sea of Thieves but there are some huge like pillars of games that actually uphold the game the console being a strong titan to the competition but if you mention titles like for example Sony you get Bloodborne, Uncharted, Horizon Zero Dawn, Demon Souls, Ghost of Tsushima and a whole lot, a whole huge huge catalog of games of the JRPG section. There's just when you mention the title, when you mention Sony, you can downright mention a whole lot of exclusive titles that actually affect the consumer's choice as to which console 
should they buy? If you mention Nintendo, Zelda comes to mind, Mario, Donkey Kong, Kirby, Metroid, Star Fox, and the list goes on and on and on and on. Now, in this consumer's choice, not everyone let's just be, be real. Not everyone has the money to be able to buy all of the consoles out there. Just, that's just how it is. There's some many, many people, many families that whenever they buy a console, they have to take in consideration a whole lot of stuff like the time invested that they have into the console. I personally, I do have many consoles, but if I would have to like give up my, let's say for example, my game is my game is score, it's like a, a little thing. A small thing may, 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 may seem like a, like a smallness to many people, but for me it matters. If someone tells me that I have to give up my 100,000, because that's my game, gamer score right now, it's time that I have invested in, it's like a memento for me. If someone tells me that I have to give up, give away that, I would be hurt. Now, with all this babbling and rambling from Mario James, what, what's my stand? What, why do I think that Microsoft will actually be making the Bethesda games or Cinemax Media Studios exclusive? There are many people that say that it would be highly more profitable to actually maintain the titles which already have a huge base, uh, established fan base of players throughout all of the platforms and it would be a better idea to just get the revenue for that inversion by reaching as many consoles as possible, right? But that's the heart, talking about economic language, as the heart approach in the market. If we take a look into a more elastic kind of approach, a more elastic kind of, yeah, approach to the market, let's take this in consideration. Game Pass, as being one of the most excellent and like the most praiseable things that Microsoft has done. I truly believe that Game Pass allows gamers that don't have like enough money to downright buy a 60 box game and then after that realize that they didn't actually like it that much and they just cannot get that back. Game Pass allows that. It's the accessibility that you get from Game Pass. I, I think I cannot praise it enough. It's just such a beautiful addition to the gaming world. And now, re returning to this elastic kind of approach, having all of these titles being exclusive to Microsoft, yes, of course, it would be. It would make sense that they could make a whole lot more profit from them reaching as many platforms as possible but the thing here is that if they add this if they build in these foundations that Microsoft already has and they add more exclusive titles and they get to be a strong choice for the consumer as far as exclusivity titles if I let's say uh, what do I buy a PS PlayStation and Nintendo or an Xbox I have this in PlayStation, I have this in Xbox, right now in this kind of choice, Xbox uh, sadly it, it's a little bit lacking comparing, compared to other consoles, but having the Elder Scrolls, Starfield, Wolfenstein, Doom, uh, let's say even within 3 maybe, having a Dishonor and a huge, a whole bunch of titles being Microsoft exclusive might actually get the eye of the consumer and say hey I want those titles I want to go for Xbox and also that would be like Microsoft has never focused that much on the console sales but more on the games and if this happens and they do get to sell more consoles to peoples people actually start buying more games in the platform and they revenue more from that and also these games would be day one game pass editions which is like i said i cannot praise it enough game pass is such a beautiful beautiful addition to the gaming world being able to let's say for example let's say that I, i'm not a horror kind of game i am man i really am beautiful games but 
Let's say that I'm not. Now, let's imagine that uh, the evil within three comes out and everyone's raging about how beautiful it is and I want to try it, uh, but I don't like it. It's on Game Pass. I mean, I could just try it and then move on with my life. And this kind of elastic approach to the market allows that the eye of the consumer is going to be Focus a little bit more higher when it comes to console buys decisions. But as of right now, we don't have any official confirmation from anyone. We all have like a speculation from people that watch uh, magazines, articles, content creators like Mary Old James. Not many people uh, watch me, but uh, usually like 50 to 100 people manages to get my videos and if you watch my videos i love you all right i love every single one of you you're all my very very best friends i'm so glad to have you guys in here uh speaking with me about all of these subjects about video games which is more highly focused in my channel in rpgs but this is a new that a news that i um, could like everybody could benefit from talking about this let me know in the comments below what do you think guys what are your opinions uh, why do you think that they might actually go for exclusives why they they won't would you like that but with that being said I'll see you beautiful beautiful gamers in the next one and don't you ever forget that that you are all each and every single one of you guys beautiful people love you all have a beautiful day have a beautiful week a beautiful everything see you guys in the next one don't forget to subscribe and like the video stay safe stay awesome stay beautiful